Hello YouTube and welcome to Kids Sock TV. Greetings to all my sock heads and thank you for subscribing and coming back for more. You're always free to let me know how I am doing, so just leave a comment below. Halloween is just around the corner and today we are going to carve miniature pumpkins. And then we'll give it the Kids Sock treatment and dry it out for a true, unique, and permanent look. You can find these miniature pumpkins pretty much just about anywhere. Craft store, grocery store, but we're going to do them up in the true sense of Halloween spooky. We're going to give these guys character. For this project, I'm going to pick this little guy right here. Here are some other items and tools that we may need in order to complete this project. Of course, a small pumpkin, a small sharp knife, a pumpkin carving kit, a small spoon, toothpicks soaking in cold or cool water, an oven or a small toaster oven. Here is where I say, hey kids and you underaged, get a parent or adult's permission and assistance with the tools and the oven. Have fun but always practice safe pumpkin carving. And you too adults. One other thing that you're going to need is a pen or pencil. I prefer pencil on these little pumpkins because this way the lines will disappear. Mr. Hand, will you give me some assistance? Great! Hold on to the pumpkin while I trace a face. Now here you probably want to go with a traditional pumpkin face. Getting too detailed will not help because when the pumpkin shrinks it will lose those details. And just like any other pumpkin you'll want to cut out the top of the pumpkin, cut your hole, and then scoop out the innards. Now since the big scoop won't work, you're going to have to get one of these. Small spoon. But this way we can scoop out the insides. Also try to get the walls of the pumpkin thin. This way it'll take less time in the oven. So let me just speed this up for you. And here you have it. A scoop out miniature pumpkin. Okay, now we're going to carve out the face. Just like any other jack-o'-lantern, just on a smaller scale. The small saw on a kit will be very, very helpful to get those small pieces out. And there you have the spooky face. And there's some treats for you to toast up. Yum! Crunch, crunch. Now we have to bring out our toothpicks that are soaking in water. What these are used for is to keep up the structure of the pumpkin so that when it roasts and dries out, the top of the pumpkin doesn't sag. But this is one tough pumpkin. So let's just forget the toothpicks. We move on. Now our jack-o'-lantern is ready for the toaster. Here you want to set this at probably a low temperature between 250, 300, maybe even up to 350 depending on your oven. The smaller oven you might have a little bit more success. Make sure that the smaller oven is also on bake. And here we put in our 
pumpkin to dry it out. This could take anywhere from an hour to two hours, three hours, depending on the thickness and how well your oven works. And here is our dry jack-o'-lantern. He's a little roasted, but sometimes that look can be good for it. You could keep it in for a little bit longer and it'll really shrivel up and give it a really creepy look. It all depends on what you're looking for. And there you have it, an awesome permanently dry jack-o'-lantern. Now, you can use it year after year or give them out as party favors. String them together and make a really cool decoration. Since they are completely dry, they more than likely won't rot and go funky on you. So, let's see your try at a mini pumpkin check on it. Post it as a video response below, little pumpkin, little check on So, thank you for watching, and thank you for subscribing. Have a great Halloween and keep on YouTubing! So, what do you think of my Halloween costume? Boo! Have fun, but always bah. Have fun, uh. Oh, this candle's too close. Hot, hot, hot. Somebody move it. Somebody move it. Ooh.